going to um, keep it going with initial value problems. Um, the next one is going to be dy over dx equals 1 over the square root of x plus 2. And then our initial condition is y of 2 equals 1. Sorry, negative 1. Um, so, um, as always, with initial value problems, the first thing that we're going to want to do is take the integral of um, the function that they've given us. So, let's do that. Okay, um, the first thing that I would like to do is um, move the square root of x plus 2 to the top. So, the way that we... Um, the, the way that we're going to do that is um, we will say um, the square root of x plus 2 is the same as x plus 2 to the 1 half. Um, and then to move it to the top, we will flip the exponent from a positive to a negative. So what this is actually going to look like is the integral of um, x plus 2 to the negative 1 half dx. Um, so we, we took it out of the, the square root um, by changing the exponent to 1 half. Um, those two things are equal. It's the same thing. And then moved it to the top by, um, oh sorry, this is positive now. Or no, negative, that's right, sorry. Um, it's, a, it's a positive 1 half on, on the bottom, and then we move it to the top, so we change it to a negative 1 half. So now that we've done that, um, we can more easily take the integral of, of this function. So we will say um, x plus 2 here. Um, we add 1 to the exponent, so negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half. And then we divide the coefficient, which is an implied 1 here, by the new exponent, which is 1 half. 1 divided by 1 half is 2, so we have 2 out here. And then, of course, um, I, I've applied chain rule to this function to be able to, um, to take the integral in this way. The way that I'm doing it is I only deal with the outside first. I'm dealing with the exponent. I bring it out here, um, you know, add 1 to the exponent. But I still have to deal with what's inside here. I can't just leave the x plus 2 alone. I have to, um, I have to divide by the derivative of the inside. Um, the derivative of this is actually only 1, right? If we take the derivative of x plus 2, it's, it's 1. Um, for the x here, the 2 goes away. It's, it's a constant, so the derivative is 0. So um, we will divide this whole function by the derivative of the inside, which is 1. So it doesn't actually have any effect on the function, so we can just leave it as it is. So we have 2 um, times x plus 2 to the 1 half. And then, of course, whenever we take the integral, we always have to add c. Um, to, um, to factor back in for, for the, the constant that could potentially be there. So we've got, um, we've got our, our function now integrated. So now we need to apply um, the initial condition, y of 2 equals negative 1. So the way that we'll do that, um, and remember that this, this whole function here is equal to y. So we plug. Um, 2 in for x and negative 1 in for y. So we will have negative 1 equals 2 times um, 2 plus 2 to the 1 half plus c. Um, and once we've plugged these things in, what we're going to try to do is solve for c. So we need to simplify so that we can solve for c. So let's go ahead and do that. Negative 1 equals 2 times um, Let's say, um, let's do 4 to the 1 half plus c. Um, 4 to the 1 half is the same thing as um, the square root of 4. We, remember, we changed this from the square root of x plus 2 to um, x plus 2 to the 1 half. Um, in the same way, we can, we can reverse it. And when we have something to the 1 half, we can change it back to the square root. So this is actually negative 1 equals 2 times the square root of 4 plus c. The square root of 4 is 2, um, so we have negative 1 
equals 2 times 2 plus c. Um, so let's go ahead and write this over here. Um, we have negative 1 equals 4 plus c. So c equals negative 1 minus 4. We subtract 4 from both sides. It cancels over here, and we have c equals negative 5. So um, that's the simplification involved in finding c. Now that we found it, um, all we need to do is plug back in. So I'm actually going to, um, if you don't mind, just erase um, this section so that I have more room to write. Um, we're going to plug c back in to um, this equation here um, and, and then just simplify a little bit. So we will say uh, y equals 2 times x plus 2 to the 1 half and then c is negative 5 so we say minus 5. Um, so this is our this is our function and you, you could leave it this way but um, 1 half as an exponent is a little bit messy so I would just like to change that to a square root. So I'm going to say that the final answer to this problem is y equals 2 times the square root of x plus 2 minus 5. There you have it.